Hey guys, so Nubia after launching its flagship gaming smartphone is now gearing up for the launch of a cheaper device dubbed Nubia Play 5G. Here, cheaper as in a mid-range phone and not some entry-level smartphone. It's also confirmed that the phone will be introduced in China on April 21st. Now this will be the company's first phone in the Play series and is also the first phone after the company announced its new brand logo. From the poster appeared on Nubia's official Weibo page, we were able to find that this phone will get 5G support, great sets of cameras, huge battery life, and is likely to be a device for younger active people. We don't know if it will be a gaming handset, but as I said earlier, it is more likely to be a mid-ranger lineup to follow the steps of Nubia M2. As for specs, let's first start with camera samples. CEO Nifei took to Weibo to post a set of camera samples ahead of next week's launch event which shows the Nubia Play 5G will boast a quad camera setup comprising of a main 48 megapixel shooter which we believe to be Sony's IMX586 module. Besides it, there is also a 12 megapixel selfie snapper. While official details about the quad camera setups are yet to come, we expect to see it accompanied by an ultra wide angle module, macro and depth modules. Other than the image samples, the CEO also confirmed few of the phone's strong points, one of which is the massive 5100 mAh battery which support for 30W fast charging with USB PD, which means the Nubia Play will be compatible with Quick Charge 4.0. Now whatever I told you was confirmed by CEO himself, but now what I'm going to tell you is just speculation. We are not sure but these might turn out to be true. The Nubia Play 5G is expected to come with the Snapdragon 765G chipset, which makes sense cause it's a 5G chipset. We also expect Android 10 complete with all Nubia specific changes in the software. No other information about the Nubia Play has been unveiled yet, so we don't know how much it will cost and when it will be launched outside China. But more details may pop out in the coming days, so do subscribe. Thank you for watching. Peace out.